Logical Fallacies in the Simpsons. Equivocation. Definition. The fallacy of equivocation uses misleading terms of more than one meaning without clarifying which definition is intended in the scenario. Here's a small example. Liam plays on the different meanings of light to make a misleading argument. Zoe clarifies the misuse of the word, spotlighting the need for clarity in definitions. Now that you understand this fallacy, let's put your knowledge to the test. Can you spot the fallacy in the clip? And now, to present the grant money, a legendary figure in educational disbursement, State Comptroller Atkins. Woo! Thank you. I'm here tonight to honor the girl whose unprecedented test score has set a new standard in excellence. Lisa? Thank you. I know this giant check is very important to everyone here. But what's even more important is the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because after all, education is the search for truth. No, no, it isn't. Don't listen to her. She's out of her mind. And the truth is, we don't deserve this grant, and I don't deserve your applause. I cheated on that test. <gasps> Wait! How dare you condemn this girl? Who among you can honestly say you've never cheated? On your wives? Or your husbands? What she just did took courage. And where I come from, Canada, we reward courage. So I hereby decree that you keep the grant. And let's give this brave girl the ovation she deserves. Oh, honey, I'm so proud of you. You got the highest grade in the class. But, Mom... The highest grade. Did you catch that? If you didn't spot the fallacy, go ahead and hit the like button. If you did, pause the video right now and leave a comment explaining what you saw. Ready to move on? Let's rewind and see if you got it right and why this clip is a classic example of this fallacy. Who among you can honestly say you've never cheated on your wives or your husbands? Explanation. In this clip, the comptroller misleadingly uses the term cheated to equate dishonesty in relationships with cheating on a test. How can you avoid this fallacy? The comptroller should clearly define what he means by cheating in all its contexts, ensuring that his arguments remain clear and relevant to the specific issue at hand. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve, or if you spotted any other fallacies, please leave a comment below. Your feedback helps us all learn and grow together. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.